Oh, here's Shire. It's always freaking late. We're always waiting on Shire. What's up, boys? What'd you have to go for a ride around the uh, around the valley there, Shires? You have to do the uh, Someone's got to scout these locations uh -huh. and make sure we've got good light and right. warm temperatures. So um, Hoboken it is, eh? Yep. Yeah, I Sounds you. good. I did I sold I sold my smallest, least expensive painting in the <laughs> Texas gallery? It's uh, you know, it means it means we're working towards a bright future. Excellent. I believe that's the last time we painted together as a crew was uh, Mexico. Yeah, man, that's good memories, though, huh? Because now style comes out, and that's also where you have to respect each other's work. Is that we're, we're, we may be com we may be common in terms of what we choose as subject matter, but at the end of the day, our paintings are going to look different. Yeah, we could uh, all be the same spot, painting uh, shoulder to shoulder. We get some very different results. Yeah, but I think we all really uh, respect each other, and um, you know. Yeah, I think I fucking think they suck. I think, I think <laughs> oh, well, I was say <laughs> All right, well, we're on our scout now, and, uh, you know, we're going to be walking around the little streets of Hoboken, maybe touch over to the waterfront, maybe walk down to the train station. The idea being, yeah, we're looking for a location where we can all get some exposure to some variety of uh, buildings, architecture, you know, some consistent light. Let's see where it goes. The waterfront. Beckoning. Cool shade. I'm just looking at composition, whether I can cut something up, a piece of painting out of that. Sort of reminds me of the San Miguel where we were. It's a different kind of tower, but we were painting towers all week. That might be kind of interesting. I love the copper work. And I'm thinking late afternoon sun's probably gonna hit a piece of that and make it sparkle. That's a lot to take on. I see a nice scene right here, boys. Do you? <laughs> yeah, there's a, of course, we're not doing figurative work today, but if we were, we might concentrate on a group of figures such as that. Well, you pull out of there, you can eat, right? Oh, yeah. The, the, one, that got, the one that got away, right? 31 inches, eh? <laughs> 12 inches. 12 oh, inches. <laughs> I keep telling her 11 and a half, but she keeps saying, more, more. <laughs> One of those days, boys, where there's so much good stuff, but it's hard to find the painting. We can't spend all day walking. No, around. no, we just got, we just got, we just got to set up. Well, I say we all just find a spot within a block or so here. All right, I'm gonna go feel this out over here. All right. Up the hill there, well, we've got an old church steeple and some uh, buildings, kind of in strong sunlight and I can stand in the shade and we've got ironworks in the foreground. Maybe pull together a tight little vertical. All right, I'm going to paint a burrito shop. I saw you sneak out of my house with a beer in your pocket. Yeah, I had to have a beer when I got home. <laughs> I had no beer at home. All right, good luck. I'm going to be down in this park. This foreground space uh, worked out with a sense of shapes and light and keep it kind of abstract and simple and just try and get a, a nice collection of shapes. I work in a medium called encaustic, which is uh, you use beeswax as your, um, your vehicle. So oil paint uses oil. This is a big hunk of beeswax. It's actually cold. On my board here, I've already got it primed with wax, um, which is a, a traditional beeswax. It's nice to have the sounds of the playground behind me. It's, that's a lot of what plein air painting is, too. It's the sort of the ambiance around you, you're, you're, you're in the life of your painting. Well, I'm a messy painter and I get oil paint under my nails and... Oh, don't touch. It's oil paint, it's kind of messy. See, those are my colors. That's what I'm starting with. You didn't mix it. Yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Tough critics. <laughs> Nigel's sort of more of a um, spatial painter. Uh, he picks big blocks of shapes and works shapes against other shapes, flattens planes, elongates things um, with light. Where Shires is uh, a much more rapid painter, very, very uh, masculine or very bold in his approach. He goes right after it, um, lays it in thick and quick and heavy. Um, so it's interesting to see the different sort of techniques at it. And what's been about 
I don't know, under an hour's worth of work. I've pretty much got the painting masked out and I'm ready to finish it um, in the next half hour. It's, it's really a melt, mental challenge. It's like, what am I going to include? What am I going to leave out? Uh, how's it going to work visually? You could see how all the kids were, uh, were drawn. Yeah. To, to watching the, the painting happening, right? And, yeah. then, and then they, and they like to see the progression, I think, you know? It's how you can take an a image or a picture and start out with nothing, a blank slate, and, and you know, they see it evolve. Jeremy and I probably are a little closer in painting. His work is alla prima, so it's a little looser. It's, uh, he throws the paint down a little quicker than I do. My paintings probably come off, you know, people often say they have a sort of, uh, an old world feel because of also part of my palette. And this, this uh, technique uh, with this encaustic gives them that sort of feeling. But uh, you know, they're both fine painters. In here painting, all of a sudden I have, excuse me, excuse me, behind me. Uh, she said she would like to buy it. And uh, she's gonna contact me through my website. Do you sell them somewhere? Yeah, often as possible. Sometimes on the street, sometimes in galleries, sometimes on the internet. Can I have your card? Yeah. All right, Allison. You about ready to show me your painting and tell me it's beer 30? Well, that's good. It's down that way. Kept it loose and loud. That's, that's what we call a dog. Call what? I didn't say nothing. What you are you talking about? <laughs> I said he's like God, is what I said. <laughs> huh? Whoever makes the sale wins Whoever the day. Makes the sale wins the day. No I don't. I got to see the money though. Buy the beer. I got to see the money. I was having fun. I got knocked out a painting. I was happy with it without being too fussy. Look at him. See, they look at us. They want to meet some artists. See them? The, There's some the ladies over there. The they want to it's meet some matter. painters. They've got us. They spotted us. They know we're painters. We're in. That's what it's like in every town. Only mad dogs and Englishmen are out in the midday sun. And I've been saving that line all day. What do, you, what do you think of today's results? I like it. You like that? Is you know what that is? Logan? Yeah, Fifth Ave. No, Fourth. Fourth Street. Yeah, Fourth Ave. Is it Street or Ave? Street. Fourth Street. These guys had. It's not a dog. It's not a dog. Are you sure it's not a dog? Positive. You can't even sit down for a beer. No, he's. He, I saw his you know? credit card. It was gold. So I'm thinking, you know, let's get something going on here. I like the middle hey, one. I prefer the middle one. You just line. said the middle one won. We like the middle one.